G'day, Sea Dog here. Welcome to my channel, my high school jewelry students. Okay, so we've I've shown you um, on a previous video how we soldered this little undercarriage in and um, how we've used an emery board with a figure of eight sanding to sand it flush uh, flat that way. Um, it's actually called lapping the term for that, L-A-P-P-I-N-G. The ring shank on the inside though now still has a bit of an issue. It's got these shoulders um, where the undercarriage stuck out just a touch there and there which we need to then sort of file those off with a half round file and we need to be careful when we do that because you can destroy the undercarriage and therefore the whole ring at this stage so we're going to do a bit like everything else on this ring do a bit and then check it do a bit check so I'm going to put it back in the benchmate like like that I can see it nice and clearly and uh, it's all good I'm going to use the same file I used to create the notches which um, is this tapered so it's got the point tapered half round so using it obviously with a round part down and just a bit at a time I'm just going to use mainly the point of the file just to take that little shoulder that little ridge off so that the band runs into the undercarriage smoothly that's just about got that side this side it's not this shouldn't take long if the join was nicely soldered and and prepared for soldering if the undercarriage was nice is nicely in there then this is fairly simple procedure and it won't take long the main thing you don't want to do is overdo it so you take too much silver off you might just have a bit of a look see at this point in time it's almost perfect I'll just give it a tiny little bit more um, on this side just this side just here awesome now if it's not fully round at that point that's okay it's as long as it runs smoothly into it that's our main concern because I can actually just whack it back on a mandrel um, and tap it with a plastic hammer to get it round at this ring shank here flows or the, un the undercarriage flows really nicely into the rest of the band um, and there's no sort of in the inside the ring there's none of that shoulder anymore it's just smooth beautifully smooth back so I'm going to just get a mandrel tap it round it off so when you're hammering it it's just on the, a lot of work on the mandrel with this project and just tapping it but make sure you're not hitting uh, these parts of that ring it's very important that you don't do that um, because you can really stuff the whole thing up stuff up the construction of your ring Okay, let's have another look. Okay, beautifully round, no excess shol uh, shoulders in there where the undercarriage is, it flows in just lovely. Okay, so that's how to, to just to do that little part. Short, short little video, but um, it does need to be done right and just go slow, pay attention, do a bit, check, do a bit, check all the time, checking, 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 and uh, it should be good. Good luck. Thanks, guys.